we're just going to sit here and talk before we start the show. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Welcome to this week's episode of Two Guys and Three Eyes. I'm David. And I'm Ryan. And today, we're going to be talking about old children, shopping, and kitchen disasters. Add caption here. You know what? Let's get serious for a minute. I am so tired of seeing moms throwing their overgrown children in the strollers. When you're putting a 10-year-old in a baby stroller, we got a serious issue. You know all the soles of his shoes are worn off, not because he's walking, because his legs are so long his feet are dragging the ground because you're pushing him around in a baby stroller. Flintstone mobile. And now we move on to the next phase of our problem, the 30-year-old baby. When you're 30 years old and you're still acting like a teenager, it's time for some serious improvements. So get out of your parents' house, put down the pipe, and find a real job. Because believe it or not, selling a knick bag to your little brother doesn't count as a real job. And stay away from the playground, pedo head. And now it's time for the third and final phase of our problem, the 70-year-old baby. You know there's still 70 year olds out there that act like they're 18 wearing the tight jeans over their Depends diapers. When you walk by and your pants start to sag, we know you just dropped the deuce in that paper bag dangling between your legs. <laughs> you know when you go out to the grocery store and you want to go shopping, there's always that one person who blocks the entire aisle creating a barrier between me and my oodles noodles. If you remember Encore from our first episode, you'll really enjoy Encore. It says what you want to say. Hey, buddy. You gonna spend all day blocking the aisle with your thumb up your butt? Or are you gonna get out of my way? I'm sorry. I'll move. Douche. I know everybody out there shops Walmart, so don't hold your family reunion on aisle 17. I just need a thing of peanut butter. I don't want to feel like part of your family by the time I get to it. Do the world a favor and do like everybody else does and hold your reunion in the parking lot of Walmart. That way I can play hit and run when I'm looking for a parking spot. And we got a way to relieve all that grocery store tension from all these stupid people that you encounter. As you're walking down the aisle, let that voluptuous essence seep between your butt cheeks as you rip the biggest fart of your life. And you know it's gonna stink, cause it burns. And then run to the next aisle as quick as you can, and wait, and listen. Oh my god! Becky, did you grab your pants? <laughs> Best stress reliever ever. A few weeks back, we got a comment from a username. And he says he hates it when he goes to the kitchen and finds something to eat and finds nothing but empty boxes because his friends are too lazy to throw them away. And that gave us a good idea. We liked this idea so much we decided to make a segment out of it called Kitchen Disasters. You know who you are. You! You don't wash the dishes, you don't take out the trash, and for God's sakes, throw away your cheese wrappers. Shut up. Check this out. Man, it's a bad day to work today. What the? Dude! What is this? I don't feel like cleaning a bowl or a spoon. Dude, are you eating cereal with a pizza cutter? You gotta do what you gotta do. Dude, wash the dishes! Ah, time to do his dishes since he ain't done. Oh wow, he did the dishes. What the? Oh my. 
my God! How big a sandwich did you make? What's the deal with all the cheese wrappers? It's right there! The trash can is right there! You mean to tell me that you couldn't put the cheese wrappers in the trash can and the trash can ain't about a foot from you? Oh God, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Where's he at? Where's he at? I swear to God, I'm gonna... What the... Oh my God. Oh my God, no he didn't. No, he didn't. I'm gonna kill him. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill him. What the? Oh, hey, oh my. Ugh. Oh my. Ron, where are you at? I'm gonna kill you. I'm in here. Help. Oh, I'm gonna help you, all right. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Now this is a segment of our show we like to call What Irks Your Nerves. And this week's user comment comes from Get Lit. And What Irks Get Lit's Nerves? Women telling men to lift the toilet seat, but they're not willing to put it down themselves. I don't care if you wake up in the middle of the night and get your butt wet or fall in. This is an equal country now. If you can fight in wars, you can drop the toilet seat. So either put the lid down or put on your big boy pants and learn to pee like a real man. And now we want to know what irks your nerves. So leave your comments in the section below or hit us up on Facebook and let us know what irks your nerves. And if we like your idea, we'll use it on a future episode. Now that wraps up for this week's episode of Two Guys and Three Eyes. I'm David. And I'm Ryan. And we'll see you next time. Really? Big boy pants? What? Welcome to this week's episode of Two Guys and Three Eyes. You didn't do it again. Oh, his feet are dragging the ground because he's too big for this baby stroller. <laughs> Get all the cookie out See, of here. Moms throw their overgrown children into face palm! Duck face. Get rid of it. And now we move on to the next phase of our problem. The 30-year-old baby. And the squishy coat. <laughs> <laughs> shops Walmart, but you don't need to hold your family unit on aisle 17. I just need a... Penis! <laughs> Butter. <laughs>